It's June 18th, 2024, and the eyes of multiple nations' armies are fixed on the soldiers of the Tennessee National Guard. From the shores of the Mariana Islands, the guardsmen manning the Army's autonomous multi-domain launcher unleash two precision strike missiles, or PRSM, a next-generation weapon boasting extended range, superior precision, and all-weather striking capabilities. The missiles hurtle across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, their target locked, the retired USS Cleveland, a decommissioned amphibious transport dock cruising 40 nautical miles away, and with pinpoint accuracy, strike the moving vessel. The successful sinking exercise, known as Sink-X, is a powerful reminder of the Army's roots in coastal defense, a role renounced in the Cold War. Now, as tensions rise in the Indo-Pacific region, the Army is once again stepping up to the plate, adapting to the latest challenge of modern warfare, range. With the success of the PRSM in this exercise, not too far away from the heavily contested South China Sea, an unmistakable message is sent to potential adversaries. The U.S. Army is ready to defend America's interests on any front, in any domain, at any time. The MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System was officially introduced into service in January 1991 on its way to the war against Iraq. Known as ATACMS, it has provided military leaders for years with the rapid strike capabilities necessary to achieve victory in contested territories. With a range of over 186 miles, a barrage of ATACMS missiles could wreak havoc on hostile ground formations, artillery batteries, supply depots, communication centers, and other strategic objectives far away from the combat zone. During the heat of Operation Desert Storm, the ATACMS proved its worth on the battlefield. In the following years, the missile became a vital asset in the American military arsenal. From the dusty battlefields of Iraq, well over 500 had been fired against enemy targets, according to Army statistics from 2015. Much more recently, in October 2023, amidst the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, the United States stepped up to support its ally by delivering attackums to the Ukrainian forces. This decision proved pivotal, as the missile system has since disrupted countless enemy supply lines, command and control centers, and other critical infrastructure. But just as the attackums grows in prominence on the front lines in Ukraine, back in America, a new successor with a jaw-dropping range was about to shock the world. In March 2016, the U.S. Army's long-range precision fires requirement was established, meant to replace the attackums. The program aimed for enhanced range, precision, modernization, and versatility, with new systems capable of being used across platforms and operational scenarios, allowing for greater flexibility. That same month, major defense contractors, including Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon, announced their participation in offering missile solutions. However, as the competition progressed, all but Lockheed withdrew, paving the way for the renamed Precision Strike Missile, or PRSM, to receive the green light in 2019. That same year, the United States accused Russia of fielding long-range cruise missiles against the provisions of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, and subsequently withdrew from the agreement. This significantly impacted the PRSM's potential, as the nation was no longer bound by the 310-mile limit previously imposed by the treaty. With this restriction lifted, the possibilities for the new project seemed endless, opening up new avenues for its deployment and effectiveness on the battlefield. The Precision Strike Missile, as finished, is a next-generation long-range missile set to replace both the unitary and cluster variants of its Cold War-era predecessor. It is designed to be launched from the Army's M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System and the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS. However, thanks to its sleeker design and smaller dimensions, measuring 156 inches in length and 17 inches in diameter, the HIMARS can carry two PRSM missiles at a time, compared to only one ATACMS missile. Designed to attack enemy targets in all weather conditions at unprecedented ranges, the PRSM is specifically crafted to strike ground targets in the enemy's rear with a particular focus on time-sensitive, moving, hardened, or fleeing targets. The PRSM's development has been nothing short of remarkable. In December 2019, the PRSM completed its inaugural flight with exceptional accuracy and performance. Just a year and a half later, in the spring of 2021, it shattered records at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico achieving a staggering range of 248 miles when fired from a HIMARS launcher, far surpassing the ATACM's maximum range of 186 miles. 
That same fall, at Vandenberg Air Base, California, it pushed the boundaries even further, exceeding the treaty's 310 miles and cementing its status as a game-changer in long-range precision fires. With a string of successful tests under its belt, the U.S. Army gave the green light for the program to enter the engineering and manufacturing development phase in November 2023. A month later, in December, Doug Bush, the Army's Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology, announced the arrival of the first PRSM delivery. According to him, quote, will provide Joint Force Commanders with a 24-7 all-weather capability that will counter the enemy's ability to conduct combat maneuver and air defense operations. The PRSM's journey is just beginning. Its development roadmap consists of four increments designed to push the envelope further. Increment 1, currently being delivered, boasts a range of 310 miles. Increment 2, the land-based anti-ship missile, or LBASM, will feature a multi-mode seeker, an extended range of up to 621 miles, and anti-ship capabilities. Future increments will expand payload options and enhance anti-fortification capabilities. With no set introduction date, the fourth and final increment aims to shatter expectations once again. By harnessing advancements in propulsion and aerodynamics, the PRSM's range is expected to soar well beyond the already impressive 621-mile mark, venturing into uncharted territory. The rapid development and incredible results of the Precision Strike Missile have caught the eye of more than one nation, especially due to recent events involving concerns about great power competition in the Indo-Pacific area. In this region, anti-ship capabilities have become increasingly vital. China's growing military power and aggression in the Western Pacific have increased the likelihood of a new war in the Indo-Pacific. With the development of several anti-ship ballistic and cruise missiles, China has pushed the United States to expand its arsenal of anti-ship capabilities in response. The main areas in which China is currently attempting to expand its territory are the East and South China Seas, waters that are also bordered by major islands belonging to the Philippines, Japan, and other Pacific nations. As such, the Precision Strike Missile is expected to be a critical asset for Allied navies seeking a deep strike capability to counter these potential enemy technologies. Both European and Indo-Pacific-based U.S. commanders have been eager to receive this new capability. In 2021, following the 248-mile milestone, the U.S. Army announced that the Australian Army had signed a joint contract to obtain Increment 2 of the program, contributing millions of dollars. This acquisition will extend the nation's missile range beyond 620 miles, potentially rivaling Australia's longest-range missile, the Tomahawk. In early 2024, the United Kingdom also hinted at its intentions to field the PRSM. In 2024, despite a relatively private development phase, the missile proudly and publicly proved itself in front of the eyes of multinational allies, showcasing its incredible potential on the global stage. Valiant Shield a biennial multinational field training exercise focuses on integrating and enhancing interoperability among United States and Allied forces. The 2024 iteration, held from June 7th to 18th, took place in the Mariana Islands Range Complex and involved every branch of the American Armed Forces, along with forces from Japan, the Philippines, Australia, Canada, and France. Among the operations, one stands out, a significant sinking exercise called SYNCX. On June 18th, soldiers from the 3rd Multi-Domain Task Force and the 1st 181st Artillery Regiment of the Tennessee National Guard launched two precision strike missiles from the Army's autonomous multi-domain launcher 40 nautical miles from land. According to a vague press statement, the missile, quote, was able to engage a moving maritime target in conjunction with other joint assets. However, multiple reports suggest that the target was none other than USS Cleveland, a retired Austin-class amphibious transport dock. This exercise marked the first known use of the PRSM against a moving sea target and the first employment of the missile and its launcher outside U.S. territory. Hitting a moving target at sea from land is no easy feat, and the PRSM's success demonstrated its capability to operate effectively in the Indo-Pacific region. A statement noted that the missile's participation in the combined joint live fire SYNCX exercise in Palau represents, quote, a significant milestone in the Army's development of long-range fire capabilities. The Precision Strike Missile's successful strike during Valiant Shield signifies the United States Armed Forces' return to the centuries-old tradition of defending America's shoreline 
and engaging in anti-ship warfare, a role it had relinquished at the start of the Cold War. As tensions rise in the Indo-Pacific region, this achievement marks a new chapter in the United States' efforts to maintain naval superiority and simultaneously adapt to the evolving challenges of modern warfare.